Hey, thanks for stopping in. So I decided, seeing how I'm kind of torn between the front end loader and the excavator, I want to try kind of a, an off season test kind of thing. I'm going to have the settings the same as they are for the leaderboard. I'm playing in normal, but all the settings pretty much match what the leaderboard settings would be if you're playing a leaderboard. And I'm going to start over. Start on Old Arnold. And the rules I'm setting are... I'm starting on Old Arnold. The goal is to... Buy Old Arnold. And then move on to the next claim, which I think is uh, Rivertown, uh, and then move up to Pine Valley, and then finally see if I can do a little digging on Nighthawk. Now I know Split was going to do a uh, all claims one season kind of deal, but I don't think he quite got all the claims. I, I don't think he did. He didn't do Old Arnold, I don't think, uh, at all, but, you know, hey, that's cool. Uh, so yeah, we're just picking up the hog pan stuff here. We're going to get that set up. Uh, it's just going to be like, uh, my own private little leaderboard test series thing. So, uh, you know, I appreciate you watching and, uh, I'm going to see what I can do. And it's just going to be excavator only. Uh, you know, we're going to, well, we're going to do all the digging with the excavator. I mean, I might use the front loader to delete dirt to dig an open pit. I mean, come on. But. But yeah, uh, you know, I think if you team the excavator up with like a Frankenstein and a dump truck and try to keep both of them filled and dumping and I'm shooting for higher yardage per day with the excavator. I, I know it can be done. My goal, I'm going to play this until the next leaderboard starts, which should be about a month from now. So. Let me know if you like it, you know. I appreciate you watching anyway. And uh, so we're just going to see what happens. Now, I know that the gold's not going to be great on old Arnold. And as per my rules I set for this, I can only mine or uh, drill old Arnold. So I'm going to drill hard on every square. I'm going to try to get all 16 circles, as much gold as I can. I'd like to have the tier 5 set up here on Old Arnold and just see what kind of gold can be uh, grabbed out of here. But I'll set this hog pan up and we'll dig for a few, a few nuggets, get a couple, uh, couple ounces here and uh, then we're going to rent the drill and, and get started drilling. I was thinking about a hard mode, but, you know, I want to stick with uh, something a little closer to what the leaderboard is. So, you know, the time scale's 12x, so machine failures are on. I pretty much matched the settings for leaderboards, so I think it'll be fun. I have faith in the excavator. I really know, I know that you get way better cleanouts. Uh, Split says that uh, you get 10% less with the front loader, and that seems about right, but, you know, it says you don't lose gold, you just get 10% less. You know, that sounds good, but uh, let's just call it what it is. You lose 10% gold by using the front loader, and, and I don't like losing gold. You know, that's like saying, gee, you got a flat tire. It's not that the tire lost any air. It just has 100% less air than it did. Uh, you, you still got a flat tire. You know, let's face reality. Not criticizing, it's just a funny way, you know, you're, you're losing 10% gold with the front loader, which it makes up for in the, in the yardage it can do, so, 
You know, it's a, it's a toss-up. But I just want to see what I can do kind of in my own private little leaderboard here. Now when I do the, the, the panning here, you see I'm, I'm dumping water in before it's 100%. I dig with the shovel until I get a nugget, and then I wash it out, and then I start digging again. It works pretty good. I want to try to get like, you know, five ounces here, give me around $6,000, so and I can go rent the drill and get it transported over and have a little bit of cash left. One of another challenge that I was thinking about is when you do all this drilling in the beginning in the leaderboards, you have, you know, a, a couple hundred ounces. Usually you have almost a thousand ounces, but you don't have any magnet type. So you don't have any upgrades at the blacksmith and, you know, 20 ounces at a time at 14 minutes per, you know, bar. That takes literally five hours real time sitting there. And that's enough to make you pull your hair out. So I think what I'm going to do is probably get a tier 2 set up and just run enough to get maybe a bar size upgrade or a time upgrade at the blacksmith to try to you know, get some early game magnetite strategy going to help with that initial smelting grind. You know, smelting all that drilled, those drilled nuggets takes time, and I'll see if I can get that worked out a little bit. I mean, that would save time in the leaderboards, I think. It'd be a good investment. I mean, Tier 2, you know, you're not going to get nowhere near what you'd get out of a Tier 3 or a Tier 5, but you will get magnus, Magnetite, so I think that will benefit us. pick the story up but it kind of gets annoying seeing that blinking story message on the side yeah you know I guess I'm a glutton for punishment I just can't get enough <laughs> now I got gold fever it's in my blood you know gonna try to keep these uh, episodes to like 30 minutes each and you know I'll cut out a lot of the the repetitive stuff there's you know the grind is real in this game and nobody needs to see it yeah. get the idea of what's going on and then I'll just skip ahead or time lapse it and get started on the drilling at, in this episode that's the goal and uh, I'll do a lot of the drilling off camera, and uh, we'll just progress this series along here. And like I said, well, I'm going to play until the next leaderboard, so this is my own little private off-season leaderboard here. It's a big test for the excavator. My goal is to get uh, 40,000 ounces. And if I can't do that, or if I can't at least get like 30, 31 you know, what I got for the last official leaderboard, then, I don't know, we'll have to think of something else, I guess. But I think I can pump the yardage per day up to probably 1,700, maybe 2,000 yards per day with the front loader, or the excavator. And I think that's going to be really, really cool. I might not even have to do any open pit mining. No, Ar old Arnold's pretty much everywhere you dig there's gold. It just gets a little better in some areas, so. 
once we drill, we'll see where the hot spots are and try to focus in that area. Now, when I get the money, I can go ahead and move on to the next claim. But my rule is I have to buy Old Arnold before I can move on. And then I have to buy the next claim before I can move, move on. Now get into the habit of buying the claim. It's a, it's a big help. Um, I, honestly, in the last leaderboard, I didn't buy the claim right away. and It, it really bit me in the ass. It slowed me down a lot. I, I could have really benefited by having all the gold sooner. But after I had bought uh, Nighthawk, uh, I just had so much money. You know, then when you, you want to buy a Frankenstein or something, it's, it's no big deal. And it really helps for re-rolling claims, which another thing I didn't do in the last leaderboard is re-roll Nighthawk. I mean, that last Nighthawk I got sucked. I should have re-rolled that. You know, I was sitting on $1.5 billion dollars had plenty of money, I should have re-rolled it. I could have easily ended up with 35 or 40,000 ounces. So how's everybody doing this summer? Everybody getting baked out with the heat? here it's pretty hot it's been hot around here too everything everybody's in the 90s guess it must be that global warming I hear about I don't know should all drive electric cars and just uh, burn coal out the ass to power the power plant so we can recharge all our batteries in our cars Yep, yeah, got our 5.9 ounces. That should be plenty of money. Just gonna like roll like I'm a NASCAR driver through here, full speed kind of a reckless driver. I don't know how you guys handle these bumpy roads, but I'm always wrapped around the tree or something. Almost got ya. Hello, Mr. Blacksmith. I got some gold to smelt. Oh. Was Ricky Bobby that? Yeah, definitely gonna have to get some upgrades for the blacksmith before I even try to sit here and smelt a thousand ounces of gold at twenty ounces a pop. Then no way, man. That's freaky. Must have had my mic on when I recorded this. I usually record uh, the gameplay and then do voiceover because my mic's messed up. I can't adjust the levels for some reason. So I use a program that, uh, Audacity. But yeah, you might hear me twice, like, uh, in the background and, uh, voiceover. And it, I must have had something in my throat there. I coughed. That's funny. It freaked me out. I'm like, wait a minute. I just didn't have my mic muted when I recorded the gameplay. Hopefully it's not too horrible.
up, but when I edit these videos, I usually turn the, uh, the game footage volume down because it's just so overpowering. No matter what I set it to in the game, it just, the machines are on their own audio setting in the game and it's, <laughs> it's just hard to get it set right so that it doesn't override your voice. Sell the gold bar. Now we got some money. Go get the rest of this smelted and get the drilling. 11 a.m. already. About five seconds for one minute in game at 12x. That's pretty. That's pretty tough. Now, when I played single player, I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I always adjusted the time scale down to one. I really hated uh, digging at night, you know, messing with lights and all that. It's just such a pita pain in the butt. But, uh, no, it's fine. I played this last leaderboard, and, uh, you know, I learned a lot, and I got used to the nighttime and stuff. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Now, I was thinking about doing a hard, hard mode. Which wouldn't be too bad, but I know it's a grind in the beginning. It's a lot of uh, hog pan, and man, I just despise the hog pan so much. It literally makes my fingers hurt just the, the way I dig. It's like my thumb might rested on the space bar, and my thumb starts to hurt. Weird. I appreciate all the views I've been getting. Thanks for watching now. I mean, like I said in my last video, it's, it's amazing that, uh, you know, people would support a channel, you know, that's just starting out. It's really nice. Uh, two more minutes. But yeah, I think we're going to have to get some magnetite in the beginning. Early game magnetite, it's, it's a must. I'll do the math. Uh, maybe in the next episode we'll figure out how much we need. and We'll just run a tier 2 till we get that. Get the uh, blacksmith upgraded. And then uh, smelt the, uh, the gold. I'm probably figuring I can get enough nuggets from drilling old Arnold to buy the tier 5 and then I think my plan is to uh, you know we'll get the drilling all done and then we'll skip ahead till winter when the prices are good buy a tier 5 and uh, you know s skip the, the season to spring and set everything up and start digging and then once I buy old Arnold, uh, yeah, we can start, uh, get a good, you know, stay on old Arnold long enough to see what the cleanouts look like. Because, you know, honestly, I've never dug old Arnold with a tier five. I've always, you know, I had a tier, tier three or, you know, at most like a, a mix of tier three, four and five, but never a solid tier five on old Arnold. If I had to guess, and you know, uh, a clean out being one one third without workers, I would say you'd probably get you know 150 ounces, maybe 200. And if you can get 200, that's pretty good. That would be like 600 with workers, but that's probably that's probably a lot higher than you'd actually get. I don't know. I have to see. And that's why, you know, another reason why. It'll answer a lot of questions I have. And, and I do have a lot of questions. And, you know, you might have a lot of questions, too, about the game. And that's cool. You know, ask in the comments if I know. Great. Maybe somebody else would know. And we can get them answered for you. You know, from what I've seen, people that play Gold Rush uh, are really, really cool people. I've, I really haven't met any bad people that play Gold Rush. 
you know, all the people that I've seen that made videos of themselves playing the game are, are pretty cool. It's a great community. I love it. You know, the TV show's awesome. I mean, the game's fun, in my opinion. It, it's a grind, but it's fun. And hey, I'm always looking for friends, you know, if you want to get on my friends list for the next leaderboard season, feel free to, to shoot me a uh, friend request on Steam. Danks, just like it is on this channel, D-A-N-X. Send me a friend request, I'll gladly accept it, and, uh, you know, we can hang out a little bit. Play the leaderboards together next season and uh, have some fun. And it is, you know, if you got a couple friends that you can... You know, see where they're at. You, know, you can watch my videos or I can watch your videos. We can chat in the comment section, throw questions back and forth for each other and help each other out. Sounds like good stuff. Now I'm going to try to hit these squares real hard like I said. I'm going to try to light up all 16 nodes on each, each one. Now I see that, you know, it said that I got to dig in a better area. It didn't even light up the square. So I'm going to move in to where I know I can actually get away with throwing a drill hole down. This one should be good. Now I think you only need to punch like four holes per square to light all 16 up. But you got to do it like right here in the corners well, we'll check to see how this worked out I should have got all four of those nodes it's pretty close pretty close yep yep got them so yeah see I, I put one drill hole and I lit up four circles so then we're going to try to get this uh, next set right above it here Kind of just imagine the square split, you know, like a big old plus sign. Split it in half both ways, and you got four quarters. Try to aim for the center of the quarter in each corner. Should light it right up like a Christmas tree. Now, what's the benefit to doing this? Um... If you use the front loader, once you dig out enough of the square where you remove the highlighted circle, the gold map will show you zero gold in that square. If you have all 16 of these lit up and you dig out the square, it'll show you a ac more accurate count of what gold's left in the square. You got that. Plus, Every time you light up square, uh, little circles in the squares, you get a chance to get a nugget. So, basically, if I'm drilling each square four times, I have four chances to get a nugget out of each square. If I drill each square once, I have one chance to get a nugget. So, <clears throat> I should be able to get well over $2 million in gold and nuggets from drilling this way. Like I said, I'll do this off camera, but you get the idea of what I'm doing here, and, uh, yeah. Not really in a hurry, and, and that, I think a lot of people, when they play the leaderboards, they get that, that rushed feeling, like, I gotta get this done, I gotta do this, uh, I gotta hurry. In the beginning, it's all prep, so... It's, it's basically time to, to chillax, you know, take your time, set everything up right, make sure you cross those T's and dot those I's before you start digging, you know. If I would have spent more time prepping, I would have done a lot better in the end. I know that. So I think I'll, uh, I'll do this next square up here. We'll go for, uh, I think, uh, what? See if I can get these last four here. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, 
Lucky me. 16 ounce nugget. That's pretty hefty. So that's not bad. There. See? All 16 dots filled in that square. And I got 43 ounces of gold and nuggets out of it. Just one square. Not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, I should easily hit $2 million in nuggets here. We'll do this square yet, and then, uh, like I said, I'll do the rest of this drilling off camera, and the next episode, it should be all getting Tier 2 set up and working on the Magnetite. Uh, because, damn, that's going to be way too much smelling. that, and, and I did. I sat there for a good five hours doing nothing but smelting gold bars at 20 ounces per in the last leaderboard and a lot of people do it that way that really does you know take a lot of time we'll see if taking the time to get a tier two set up and all that is beneficial or not i think it would be i mean you're not going to spend too much time on a tier two to get the magnetite needed plus you're going to be getting a couple ounces of gold out of it so you're going to get on the leaderboard right away and uh, you know, get your foot in the door. One point seventy four ounces. That's nothing. Come on. Oh, they're killing me. They're robbing me. shoot for this last corner up here yeah just remember you know divide the square into uh, fours you know, cut it in half cut it in half again shoot for the middle of uh, what would be the, the four corners and should be good four drills pop you got it Perfect. Look at that. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, catch the next episode. It should be out tomorrow. You know, I'm going to try to keep up with this. I might miss a day here and there. Who knows? I do have time on my hands, but, uh, you know, I got to get some stuff done. But I do appreciate you watching. Thanks for stopping by. Leave a comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. We'll catch you in the next one.